Hi, welcome to the weekend. Uh, if you didn't see my video for Thanksgiving, uh, which is still on the site, go watch it. It's absolutely fascinating. It traces how the pilgrims basically became the North in the American Civil War, and the Jamestown migrants became the South. And the English Civil War, which was played out in that migration from Britain to the United States, became the American Civil War 150 years later. So uh, watch that. I think you'll enjoy it. For today's history video, I'm going to pick up where we left off last Saturday. Um, this was this is the third video in this series. We had discussed how the Germans had the Enigma machine, which was their special coding device that had a setting for each day. And if you knew the setting for the day, all the stuff could be decoded quickly. But if you didn't, you'd have to compute the setting for the day, and it was a long computation, took weeks to do. So Alan Turing invented the world's first computer to do these calculations quickly. And in yesterday's video, last week's video, we talked about how using the breaking of the code, British intelligence was able to intercept every single German spy that was parachuted into Britain during World War II. They would capture him and then they would pretend to be him and to send back signals. So today, this will be the third of four videos that will talk about this. And um, we're going to talk about the impact of that Enigma breakthrough, the coding breakthrough. Uh, particularly effective in permitting Britain to survive submarine warfare. There's a myth that's going around which says that the reason we survived, that Britain survived the U-boat attacks, the submarine attacks in World War II, was the convoy system. Well, that's a facade that was invented during the war because they couldn't say what it really was, which is that they'd broken the German code. And the British knew where every single German submarine was. And, but they couldn't go out and attack the submarines because then the British, the Germans would know that they'd broken the code. So they had to wait until the submarine attacked them and then they could sink the submarine. But they had convoys, uh, basically, that were uh, designed to protect the merchant ships. But they were also designed to kill the U-boats that attacked those ships. And uh, the British would use the Enigma decoding to know where the submarines were run their convoys by it, and then sink those submarines. And the results are really incredible. In 1940 and 41, Britain was starving to death, uh, literally. They were running out of food. Uh, they had no ammunition. Uh, they were the, there was a serious crisis. Britain could not have lasted in World War II at the rate of merchant tonnage that was sent to the bottom of the ocean during the first year and a half of the war. Then when Turing broke the Enigma machine, suddenly everything changed. And by 1942, the, Britain was building more ships than it was losing. And by 43 and 44, it wasn't even a close contest. And that was entirely, uh, not entirely, but in large part due to breaking of that code. The other thing is you've all heard the story about Montgomery's stand at El Alamán which was the uh, turning point of the war in North Africa. Uh, Churchill said, we never won a battle until then, and we never lost one after that. When Montgomery defeated Rommel, who had literally pushed the British all over North Africa before that. Well, the understory of that is that because of the Enigma machine breakthrough, the Allies could tell when any supply convoy was sailing from Sicily to Tunisia, Sicily was German then, to reinforce Rommel or to give him supplies or equipment. Now, they knew when each convoy was sailing and they knew the route they would take. But again, they couldn't sink it uh, based solely on the decoding because the Germans would figure it out. So the British would arrange for a reconnaissance plane to be flying around and coincidentally, it would always fly over the convoy and it would ostentatiously spot the convoy and then, you know, an hour later, a British submarine or a a British ship would come and sink the, con sink the uh, supply ship. So Rommel was basically out of spare parts. Uh, he was out of gasoline, his tanks couldn't operate, and uh, a huge factor in the El Alamein victory and the subsequent uh, winning the war in North Africa was exactly the fact that Rommel couldn't get resupplied because we had broken the coding. 
Now, next Saturday, we'll talk about how the breaking of the Enigma code was absolutely fundamental to the success of the D-Day landings, and how without that, we probably couldn't have landed. And then in our fifth video, we just decided to make it a five-part series, we'll talk about how the Enigma decoding backfired and let us, left us vulnerable in the Battle of the Bulge. So I'll see you next Saturday. And by the way, if you're a history buff, no better way to understand history than Dubs Goes to Washington. A little simple, but for four to eight-year-olds, it's pretty good. <laughs> and Dub discovers Washington and uh, looks at each of the monuments there. He visits the White House. Dub stopped by to visit the White House to see the president and his lovely spouse. Sorry about that, but this is a nonpartisan book. He hoped they didn't mind him paying a call. He only wanted to ask if they'd seen his ball. So you can get this on DickMorris.com. Thanks very much. See you Monday or next week.